What's up guys? We got another Cyrax video again today. This time, exposing the truth behind what the trolls do to people. So let's check it out. What up guys? I'm making this video for White Bowser. Look bro. I've seen the video you made. Reach out to me and I appreciate it. I do. I do appreciate it and a lot of what you said is correct. Like what you said at the very beginning about the different types of fighting. You're correct. You really are. Now what I honestly don't think what you realize or what you fail to realize that I'm just now finding out about myself is some of the Akron PD, my friend, are involved in human trafficking of what I've gone through. They're involved in relaying info to this internet crime ring of trolls. I really honestly don't think you understand the full extent, White Bowser. I really don't. I honestly don't think you understand or grasp the full extent of what these people do or what they have done and what they will try to do. Oh, I think Bowser knows exactly what people will do. These people are comprised of former anonymous members. And some of them, even criminals that have been locked up before. Now, these people together have been committing or attempting to commit human trafficking like they tried to do with me. That's why when, and I'm sure you've seen the video, we've all seen it. When Chicken Andy rolled up in that RV with his friends that night. They weren't there just to say, hey, what's up, blah, 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 no. They were there to kidnap me and potentially either kill me or put me in human trafficking. They were there to get you away from that fucking attic. And by the way, if you had gone with them, you wouldn't be going to court now. And guess who's the head? Music Biz Marty. The same guy that you befriended, which I'm glad you got away from, by the way. I'm glad you got away from him. Now, Marty, I found out, he is indeed responsible for three different murders, which are the two prostitutes and Jamie Nicole. Now, he also is responsible for an assassination attempt on me, which is essentially attempted murder. You are such a delusional idiot. I can't believe you believe all this shit for so long. Marty recruited William Glory Hole who has connections to the Akron PD to do all his digging for him to do all his info digging to do all the technical shit with the technology that he doesn't know how to do now Marty is on and this is something that not everyone realizes Marty is also responsible for holding somebody hostage hence his ex who went there and stayed with him and he refused to let her leave at all the only reason why she was able to leave or why she got away is because she made the excuse that she needed to get to her kids and she snuck out if she didn't make that excuse she probably would have ended up dead okay he held her hostage and she almost ended up dead because of him. Okay, that one's kind of new to me. I don't, I don't know what the fuck that story is about. But I'm going to guess that you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, Cyrax. 
Like I said, White Bowser, I don't, I don't harbor any hatred towards what you said. I don't, because there's a reason why the cops said not to say anything. There's a reason, and it wasn't for my benefit. Okay, it was not for my benefit. It was for theirs. And you want to know why it was for theirs? Because they know that I know that. A couple of the officers in the APD are involved with this whole thing and they don't want those people to get exposed. Which is what I'm going to be doing over time. I'm going to be exposing them. I'm going to be exposing this internet crime ring. And these people that are responsible for doing all this shit to us. To me, to you, to Tony, to Suplex City Vlogs, Heather Colonna. Tony the Black Dragon Lord. All those people are going to get arrested. You know, it's kind of amazing that you could take some sound legal advice from the police. Like, you know, shut the fuck up and stop incriminating yourself. And decide that means that the police are working with the trolls. You're an idiot. And Bowser, I'm proud of you, man. You got out of that shit when you could. I unfortunately didn't get so lucky because I didn't know what was going on. But you can bet your ass that these last few months, I've been working my ass off on trying to get out. That dude that showed up here with the bat, that was a setup. He didn't show up with a bat. He showed up with a sign. You came out with a bat and tried to assault him, and that's why you're going to court. Now the setup by a mutual contact, CVG. A mutual contact of Music Biz Marty and Wayne Gloriel. Why? Because if I didn't play along with their little game, they wanted to get me arrested. That was their whole goal, is to get me arrested. Because I wouldn't play along with their little thing. Because they knew if they had me out of the way, they knew if they had me out of the way, they couldn't, that I couldn't fight back. I couldn't expose them like I'm doing now. Well, I can guarantee you that CVG had nothing to do with the guy who showed up with the sign. But, you keep saying that they just want to use you for clicks and views. So how the fuck does getting you sent to jail figure into that plan, idiot? That's why they wanted me to get arrested. So that I would be out of the way and I wouldn't be able to speak out and say anything. I mean, isn't it funny how all their victims have the same thing in common? They want to try to shut that person up. Or get them blacklisted to where no one will ever talk to them again or believe them. Or get the police to think that they're crazy. Just so that no one will help them. I mean, don't you think that's a little bit weird, White Bowser? I mean, really think about it, dude. Really think about it. Sounds a little bit odd if you ask me. Trying to have me arrested all so that they can get me out of the way. Shouldn't have done that, y'all. Now that being said, I am getting I am getting the mental help that I need. I am getting the help that I need to get well. Because yes, I have been victimized. I have been torn down. I have been cast aside. I have been made to do shit that I knew was wrong. But I had no choice. Because I knew if I didn't do it, they would try to do something worse to me. Which is why I'm here now, White Bowser. Not only speaking out for you, speaking out for their previous victims, but speaking out for myself and victims of this shit all over the world. You know, I think Cyrax and White Bowser are two of the worst people I've ever seen in my life. And I hope they just make each other's life miserable. I 
I'm speaking out for everybody all over the world that's been victimized by these group, by this group and groups just like this one that I'm dealing with, and that I have, and that I have been dealing with for the last five years. Why do you think the group known as the Shadow Collective has reached out to me? The Shadow Collective is an underground group that helps people that have been victimized. No one knows who they are, no one knows their real name. You don't go looking for them, they go looking for you. And I'm sure in due time, why Bowser, they may reach out to you, I don't know. I know that the, that the group known as the Shadow Collective has reached out to me. And I understand why they, why they want their faces to remain anonymous because of fear of their safety. Because they lead normal lives just like anyone else. But at the same time, this is what they do. When they're not working, this is what they do. They hunt down evil monsters such as Marty and all of these people and bring them to justice. These people are absolutely going to make your life worse. I guarantee you that they're not going to help you in any way whatsoever. And I am going to say something to you Marty and you CG and you William. And all your little friends, you guys will be brought down by the Shadow Collective and Sneaky Jim. You guys will be brought down for the shit that y'all are doing. Because what you guys do is a form of terrorism. And it's not right. So Marty, CBG, William... I hope your days are numbered. And to whoever the officer is in the Akron P that is working with these trolls, if I was you, I would get out now, dude. Because I'm telling you right now, it's not going to end well for you. You will end up losing your job. Because when this current court case is over, I am going to be opening up a whole brand new case against everybody including the officers that have not helped me and my family. I mean it seems pretty strange to me when I get shot at, I get assaulted, the Akron PD doesn't help at all. It's not strange at all. You didn't get shot at, there was no bullet, it was a rat trap in your room, Marty didn't assault you, you attacked him. So you didn't get to press charges on someone you attacked, and uh, you attacked that other guy with a bat, because you're a psychopath. But yet, the one time that I fight back and protect my property and my family and myself, I'm the one to get arrested? Sounds pretty odd if you ask me. I mean, wouldn't the police officer actually, you know, when you're being shot at, oh, well, we're going to get the bullet out of the mattress. We're going to track down the gun. Why do you think they didn't track them down? Because they know what's going on. They know who the person is, and they're working with the person. No, they know you're a lunatic, and they're not going to chase these ridiculous stories from a fucking 43. Why do you think that when Marty assaulted me, the police didn't say anything to him? Why? Because Marty and them are all working together. Get the picture? But yet when I fight back, I get arrested. Think about that for a minute. Let that sit there and marinate. When I, get, uh, when I get assaulted and I get shot at, the police don't do shit. But yet, 
the, the one minute I fight back, I'm the one to get arrested. Think about how strange that is. Think about that. Real odd if you ask me. I mean, a dude randomly comes from out of state. Harasses your family. You fight back, but yeah, you're the one to get arrested. And he gets off scot-free even though he's from out of state. Tell me something don't sound weird with that. I think so. But like I said, White Bowser, I appreciate your words. But I do hope that you understand the gravity of what's going on now. Like I say, I'm not mad at you. I don't hate you. But I do hope that you understand the real gravity of what's actually going on here. We're dealing with an online internet terrorist group comprised of former anonymous members and other sorts of criminals that make their news online. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. And if you want to fact check me, do your own research. Dig in. I welcome you to dig in and research and find your own results. Peace. Well, great video, Cyrax. Uh, keep raving like a lunatic. I don't think it's going to help you when you go to court and you get sentenced to jail because you're an idiot who attacks someone. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night.